a student, I think. Hi, Simon. How you going? Hi. Yep, Simon wants to enroll in my IT class. It's going to cost him some money, though, to get in. So he fills in his enrollment form. And then he's accepted into the class. And then Simon meets some of his classmates. And the course begins inside the learning management system. The discussion begins inside the learning management system. And I introduce myself as a teacher to the class inside the learning management system. I set tasks for the class inside the system. And it's now assessment time inside that system. I inform the students of the results from the system. And then the enrollment period is expired and away goes Simon. And he wants all his discussion transcripts. Well, too bad. His enrollment period is expired and Simon can't. So a new semester and new students begins. Then my contract expired. So I'm no longer part of the system. Oh, a new contract and new enrolments with new money comes into the system. But hang on, let's have a think about how this works. So we prepare the curriculum using the web. And using a blog and a wiki and an aggregator, the conversation begins. I begin to negotiate my contract. I realise that students need to be enrolled so they come through me. And the discussion begins. Using blogs and wikis, I manage to connect with my classes and I set class tasks for the class and they do so using their blog and wiki for assessment. Results come back from the same environments that they own. New enrolments start and new classmates begin and new contract begins too. And everybody has access to the material. More discussions stay alive. And that's what makes the world go round in the world of RSS as glue.